what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd. I inspected a problem, we check it. I call them my demons and get you. I put a switch on the gun if you run, and I put that on bro. Them bullets won't make What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brian Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, who do I got on the couch with me? Hey, small, you know that. We got face, and I'm so excited to have you here. I'm excited to have you so, <laughs> so let's get right into it. For those who don't know, let us know where you're from. From the Bronx, New York, Rip Park Towers. RPT. They know. So, what is it about RPT? Because I know everybody that's from there seems to be very excited to make it known that they're from RPT. So, what is it about RPT that's like that makes everybody so proud to be there? Be from it's there? love, like. Mm -hmm. it's you old brothers, like, mm -hmm. it's not like, we don't just, we don't accept people from different blocks. Everybody that y'all see with us, we all grew up together. We all lived it. Mm -hmm. It's not nobody else from a different block that's, it's not none of that. So. Do you think, because I know that it's in a lot of songs, you think that there's niggas out here, like, screaming RPT that don't know what it means? Yeah, of course. Yeah? So, for people who don't know what it means, what does RPT mean? And four set, four set, because I know. It's just like, a, a um, RPT is like, a, it's a brotherhood. Mm-hmm. It could mean plenty of different things, like Rip Park Towers, uh -huh. four seven four building seven letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you say four seven four seven, mm -hmm. if you ever been to Rip Park Towers, it's four buildings. Right. Each floor got forty three floors. Damn. So, RPT is in respect. When you spell respect out, you see RPT. RPT is in respect. So four seven four building seven letters, mm -hmm. and. You don't respect it, you know what happens. Like it's simple. Like, Understood. But Damn. we come with respect, though. You're we don't we not how people make us be. We not that. Like mm -hmm. we come with respect. Like we don't go look for stuff. Like you know what I'm saying. Like. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's dope that y'all y'all seem to be like a family, and y'all all really seem to be working. So I think that's really cool. So let's get straight into the music. What made you start um, making music? I've been doing music for a long time. How long? It's I called my fair case in 2014. Okay. So, like, almost 10 years. Shit, yeah, bro. I've been, like, in and out of jail. Right. So, you know, like, I come home and get steam. Mm hmm And go right back to jail. Come, I ain't just as long as I've been home in the last, like, eight years. Really? I've been six months, come home, right back. So, okay. So, we're going to get into that. So, before you, before you got locked up and you started making music, what kind of music was it that you were making? Same music I make now. Same music you make now. Okay, because I was going to ask you, like, with being locked up and coming out, did you feel like you had to adjust to what was trending? I thought I did. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie, I thought I did. But then when I really thought about it, it's like, I, I'm not going to compete with my My young niggas got it. Like, I'm not going to mm -hmm. compete with them. Mm -hmm. I see it as once they open doors, it's the open doors for everybody. So whatever I'm doing, I just got to be ready and stay consistent. Right. That's it. I see this shit as basketball, bro. I swear to God. And you, like basketball. So. Uh-huh. And you were talking about how you used to play basketball. So I'm curious to know, like, what was the path like? Because you were playing basketball. You started making music. And then, like, nah, where did I dropped you... out, like, I dropped out 12th grade. Mm-hmm. Shit was started to get, well, yeah, I couldn't go to school no more, like, you know? So I had to switch my school and shit, so. And then, like, all right, let me just... We all just went to the studio first. We we for, actually the first song we all made was a drill song. Though I ain't gonna lie. Okay. It really was a drill song, but it was, just wasn't no name at that time. Like, we were just dissing niggas, saying shit. Oh, we like for me it was, but it, we didn't have no name for it. Mm -hmm. And Chicago came out with then, and then it just boomerang back up here, and niggas got it in choker. So you saying the New York niggas had drill before Chicago it, niggas? Did? I won't even. I'm not gonna say that, but we been making it. They probably made it lit or whatever. How whatever they was doing it with it, but. Niggas been making drills. Really? Yeah. Okay. In New York? I know my niggas was. I can't speak for So who, who are your niggas? Who was, who was making this music? What you mean? Who was making the music? Who was making the drill well, music back in with the you? Days, yeah. Um, they not here right now, but um, you got like Fetty. Mm -hmm. uh, he, 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 got, he got on a few, on a few songs with us. Um, we got um, Lighty Pockets. There's a few other artists that's not here right now, but you know, mm -hmm. they don't they, they don't do that. They don't. They found other professions just to help okay. amongst the team. And I think it's it's interesting that you started off doing drill, and then now you on like more of like a melodic pain yeah, type bro. of flow. So where did that? Why did you stop making drill music? 
I ain't gonna lie, they told me stop making dream music. Who's they? My man, they just kept it real with me. Like, like I can't be out mm-hmm. here saying anything, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm looked at. I'm really like, like they really looking at me. So I gotta be careful what I'm saying out my mouth. So I mm-hmm. just, when, it, when it's public, I try to give it a good example so mm-hmm. people see they. They don't see what other people just saying about me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They don't know me. I get I get that all the time. They don't know me. Mm-hmm. I look mean. I'm not mean. Though. Okay, so how influential do you think music is onto the people that listen to it? Because you're saying, like, based on the stuff that you were rapping about and the stuff that you were saying, that's why you were encouraged to start making different type of music. Mm-hmm. So, like, how impactful do you really think that music is? It's, you know, it's it's really impactful because like. If I'm in the studio, right, and the shit I'm talking about, I'm talking about the shit I go through and amongst my my peers and everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. If I'm in the studio and they feeling and they getting the chills, I don't even got to say nothing. I know when they jacking the song. I don't got to mm-hmm. say nothing. Okay. They not jacking the song, nigga, but you just be sitting there doing other shit. Mm-hmm. Not even paying attention to what's going on. But if it's something that's like niggas, everybody can relate, even the people that's, don't, that's mm-hmm. not in the camp. Mm-hmm. And they relate to the music. They always tell me, yo, son, I felt that, bro. I feel that shit. Keep going. It's like, that motivated me too. Like, Okay. So do you put music out based on what you think works for you? Or do you put it out based on what you think other people want to hear? I go on based on me. Okay. Okay. So curious, because we just kind of talked on this. And you were saying, once again, how like, you know, being in and out of jail and stuff like that. Is there anything that you wish that you could tell your 12th grade self that you think could possibly change where you are right now, like, in your career? I always say that, like, I wish I could rewind time, but... No. I don't, I don't, I don't like... I say it to myself, but I don't... Like, the people that I play ball with, mm-hmm. like, I be feeling, like, down when I'm, like... I don't reach out to them and stuff like yo. They be really reaching out to me. niggas in the NBA, like mm-hmm. really reaching out to me. Yo, what's up, bro? Like I'm embarrassed, bro. I'm gonna keep it hundred, like because it's like I know where I should have been. Like mm-hmm. I took, I made the wrong move, and for me, and look what led to me. Well, when you say you wish you could rock, rewind time, I said no, just because nah, I'm a firm right, believer of like you know we shouldn't reflect on things that we could have, should have, would have done, right? But I asked you just because there are a lot of young niggas that are coming up right now that may be looking to, you know, people who are older in age for guidance or advice or anything. So just if there's anything that you think that they should hear, just in case they're going down the wrong path, that you wish that you could have heard, you know, when you were their age. Man, don't give up. Just because it's not working right now, like, trust me, bro. It's light at the end of the tunnel, man. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go take that path I took, man. So, with that, going down the wrong path and stuff, you know that in this New York shit, drill shit, there's just so much beef, both in public and in music. Some of it is for show, some of it is for real. What are your thoughts on, like, the dissing and the beef within the music scene? I, like, I don't pay that shit no mind. Like, I don't, like, for me, it's like, when you pay mind, that's when... It gives them more of a punch to go do it and do it more. Like, mm-hmm. ops dissing, I don't care about that shit. Like, mm-hmm. my, my, my mother, they don't care about that shit. They don't care about that shit either. Nobody don't get touched or none of that. It's not, mm-hmm. they don't care about that. Like, so it's y- about safety. That's it. It's about safety. When the old boys down to it, mm-hmm. it's about safety. Everybody going home back to their family. Mm-hmm. If, 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 that's, if that's happens every night, mm-hmm. be successful, bro. If everybody's safe. You know what I mean? Okay. Do you feel like the beef shit, though, gets in the way of money? Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. Like, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think? Because I know the fans so? want to see D thing K flop. Absolutely. I, I see that shit now. Mm hmm. That's never going to happen. Never? So you don't think there's anything that could be done to kind of like bridge that gap? I don't know, man. Even when it comes to like, you know, because they are two really influential people yeah. in the city right now. They are literally like the talk of the town. No pun intended. So, like, you don't think that there's any way that they could kind of see eye to eye and make amends? Even if just for the music? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I would say, like, I don't even think it even work. Like, if they was to make a song, like, if somebody was to send a verse and send a verse, would they never be there? I don't even think that would work. But why? I don't know. I just, you know, I wasn't like, 
I came home to all this, so I really don't know the ins and outs of why this started, why this happened. So when I came home to this, I just came back to all this. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, mm-hmm. so, you know, I just adopted and played my part. Okay. And we don't got to get too much into that. But so if it was you, right, and you had, let's say, beef with somebody, and who's your favorite artist right now? T Dot. All right. Who's your favorite mainstream artist right now? Dirk you. No offense. Dirk. So if Dirk was putting out a track and he said, Face, I want you on this track, and I want insert ops name here on the track too. I'm doing it. You doing <laughs> like, it. Okay. Like he gonna have to deal with that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm gonna put whatever I got to the side since it's a life changing situation. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm gonna look at it. Mm-hmm. I can't I speak for anybody else. I know what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. So, would you date a girl from one of your ops blocks? I'm in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put, put the camera to them. <laughs> put the camera to them. <laughs> All right, so we go. What you said, buddy? No, we go pivot. <laughs> no, that shit. We bro. are going to pivot back to the music. So you have a song change you and basically, you know, in your chorus, you like don't let the game change you, which I think is very important because a lot of these niggas definitely do get caught up in a lifestyle and they become a brand new person. Oh, yeah. How you how you I, that, I've been put that out. Y'all, y'all watching. Yeah, I mean, come on. You know, nah, you know where you at. Stop I don't playing. know, Chloe, because I don't know, Chloe. I don't know, Chloe. I don't know, Chloe. I don't, <laughs> don't know, do you that. Right? Do we not good, do though. that. We here now. Everything good. For me, it's all love. You heard? Like, <laughs> come on. You see? <laughs> come on. See? We, we good. Enjoy the moment. You got to just am. throw us under the bus like that. Nah, I ain't throwing you under the bus. No. What she said? What? What? I'm going to keep it 100. Uh-huh. She 100 with this shit. Mm-hmm. What I did was... I put my foot on the gas. Like I gotta keep, boom, 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 boom keep going. Mm-hmm. If I want, gotta get her attention. Whatever, whatever it is going on, I'm not gonna be a big norm because I'm gonna keep going, bro. Yeah, that's that's the energy that's that the you attitude should have. You have, to have yeah. So we are gonna get back to the question: What changed you? You said, "Don't let the game change you," right? Mm-hmm. So I'm curious as to what are like three do's and three don'ts for once you get into the game. That you should do. So if one of your don'ts is don't let the game change you, for example. Mm-hmm. What will be two other don'ts and three do's? Don't switch on your mans. Like, mm-hmm. like that's low. Like, don't switch on your mans and that. stay down. I mean, the money, the money is gonna change you, like no matter what. But you just gotta just continue to be one hundred through every situation mm-hmm. and just like. Give back to the hood or where you came from. Like that's important. Mm-hmm. That's really important. Okay, I don't think you gave me three. No, but it was three. What you want? Two more. For the sake of time, I'm gonna let you rock. But <laughs> it is what it is. So you also no, do, you huh? That was three. I said give me three do's and two more don'ts. All right, two more don'ts. All right. Man. You said don't switch up. Oh, on don't be no when you, when we get in that industry. Don't be no whole ass nigga. Like, don't be like jumping from head to head. Like you fucking like if 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 that nigga got beef with that nigga, don't get in between that. Like niggas be picking sides and don't know what's really going on. Like don't mm-hmm. do that. So don't. Pick That's the easy way out. Okay. Yeah, that is like don't do that and don't like let me like don't be no suck ass nigga. Like don't don't be no suck ass nigga for these hoes. You're like. Oh. <laughs> That ass. They could be suckers for these hoes, man. What does, what does that mean? What, they be like, dirty macking? Nah, not even dirty macking. Like, niggas be like, like, you supposed to be my man. Like, niggas don't kiss and tell, but I'm just saying, like, if I'm, you know, niggas might be like, y'all hit that. Like, mm-hmm. Nigga, the whole time, nigga be, might be wanting to hit the same shit. Mm-hmm. Try to get some box, go back to hug. Yo, that nigga say, yeah. That's dirty macking. That's exactly what that is. This shit, I know. Niggas don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so you don't do that. So you also just dropped um what was it? War pains, mm-hmm. the visual for war pains. And that seemed very personal. You know, you had the footage from when you was coming home. Yeah. You know, it looked like it was taken off the iPhone, so it was really raw, really yeah. like so what was like the inspiration behind that? Oh man. Both man. the song and the visuals. The visual, I just felt like like I just had to get him like that visual of, of of what's really going on and not like what everybody think was going on that like, because mm-hmm. I feel like 
good music is, is overwhelmed by the drill shit. Like right now, so it's like, bro, like nobody else want to listen to other music. Right. So I I try to give them that pain to make them come back and keep looking like click. Oh, now let me go back to that. Some of the people were saying, oh, I felt that, I felt that, I felt that. Mm -hmm. That motivated me to keep giving them that vision of what's my life and what's going on, what I'm talking about in these raps. Mm -hmm. So you just said something real interesting, that good music is kind of overlooked by the drill shit. So what kind, what do you think is like good music? Good music? Like, my music. <laughs> of course you're gonna say that. Nah, but you feel like you're overlooked because of the drill, because of all the drill music. Good music, not even me. Because mm -hmm. it's of artists that's out there, and I be looking like, and I'm no hater. Like I be looking like, yo, damn, how this nigga not on yet? Like mm -hmm. shit is overwhelming, bro. Just drill shit just took over the world, bro. Yeah. That ass, like nobody don't want to hear nothing, bro. Like but that, like. So, do you think, though, that eventually the drill wave is going to die down? No, maybe? D thing about to come on. <laughs> to, <laughs> shit about to get lit. So, <laughs> so you Y'all going to see you laughing now. I'm, I'm telling y'all. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. Shit about y'all is right here right now. Uh-huh. Shit about y'all know what's so up. So, you saying once he come home, it's up. Y'all know what's up, bro. Y'all know what's up. Oh, we know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> the world know, bro. I'm in... Miami, bro. Swear to mm -hmm. God, I'm walking down the street. RPT, 4747. I'm all the way across the street. I got glasses on. Mm -hmm. Shit is out of, out, of, out of control. I'm thinking I'm not even like somebody that they really be knowing, but I be mm -hmm. thinking I'm an artist too. But I'm thinking my mind is like, yo, damn, I'm all the way in another state. And it's like, I'm hearing this shit. It's like, yo, automatic, I go in defense mode. But then mm -hmm. I have to think like, nah, it could be for defense. You feel me? So. Yes. Shit is really real, but I know when D thing get out, y'all know what's up. So what? So what do you think is kind of like the compromise? Where do you think, like niggas who aren't making drill music, what do you think they should do if it's being overlooked? How do you put your music out there to get recognized? By you need people? a team. Like you got to have a team. Like you have to have a team. That's important. Mm -hmm. Team is everything, and you just got to just like. Even with me, like sometimes, like yo. Shit get over drill. The drill shit overwhelmed me because I got to a point where I was just like, I don't know what what music to make. Like, you know, mm, like, mm -hmm. should I do this? Should I do that? Then I just like, oh, fuck it. I'm just do what I know I'm best at. Like, you know, like, and you just got to just stick to that shit. Like, mm -hmm. believe in yourself. Like, you know, you got to believe in yourself. You got to have confidence, bro. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about the importance of a team. What's your team looking like? Like, what would you say are like the most important people to have on your team? A leader. A leader. That's the most important. Leaders like, like I said, it goes back to basketball. Like, mm -hmm. I can tell everybody where, where they need to be. So, who's the leader on your team? We all leaders. <laughs> okay, so who is on your team? Like, do you have a manager? Do you have I got a manager? And you're signed? Are you signed? No, nah, not yet. No, not yet. I was. I was. Okay, I, I was. Thought, okay. I was signed to Tax so. Stone, York. Right. And that shit didn't work out. Why? No, it just didn't work out. Like I felt like like I wasn't the place for me. Like, mm -hmm. so what are the things that you look for when you're signing to a label that you, you know, just like just keep it at home, honey, and just like don't fuck me over in, in, in the long run. Like mm -hmm. everything that that's in that contract, if I'm going to agree to it. Well, it's going to go through the lawyers and everything anyway. So if I don't like it, it's going. But I'm just saying like. Just give me something I can elevate. I'm cool with taking this. Is, if, whatever label hit this shit, because I know whatever y'all watching, I'm cool with taking the opportunity. You don't got to give me no money, you heard? That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not yet. What? Don't say that. I'm cool with opportunity. You're so sure. Not, I, let me rephrase it. It don't got to be a label. It could make mail song for opportunity. It don't gotta, yeah, but it don't gotta, you can have that. I feel like I'm that's just saying, just, I'm not saying don't give me no money. I'm not saying that. I'm, what I'm saying is if it don't got to be a label. It could be an other artist or something. And they they interested in my music and they could be like, yo, I'll fuck with you. This and that, da, da, da. Yo, come fuck with me. Mm -hmm. It could just okay. be opportunity. So you're saying, okay. So you're it saying you're willing be, to collab and stuff, not just like when it comes to signing, you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm money. saying. I'm not okay. saying I'm going to take money. Because you don't not. want nobody to be like, well, in your Talk of the Town interview on bro, March that shit 20. don't mean nothing, bro. Like, that ass. Okay. They ain't talk about no bag for me, but I'm talking about like, like right now, for mm -hmm. me, in my rap career right now, I'm mm -hmm. still coming up, you know. Mm -hmm. But I got 
I want artists around me that's already skyrocket. So all I've got to do is just keep cooking up, keep cooking right. up, keep cooking up. So do you have any like labels in mind, like any ideal situations that you would be open to get it into? Nah, wherever, wherever my team goes, that's where I'm going. Really? Yeah. So you wouldn't like, okay. So if your team. I tried something else, you heard? That was the tax on. I tried to be different, try to, it didn't work. So now you're just going for what you think. I have to go back home. Else. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So, um, curious to know, who are your top five artists outside of RPT? Outside? Like, it's mainstream Outs or just, like, anybody? Um, give me mainstream, and then we'll get into underground. So, Dirk, Baby. Oh, so you don't even be listening to the mainstream links like that, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, so let the the last three be. Yeah, I'm not upcoming. Up and coming. Mm -hmm. T dot Bando D <laughs> That's easy. Well, excuse me. Okay. All right. So what is your end goal here? Like you're making music to get to what point? If there is one. I mean, to be successful. But it, people got different reasons on why they making music or why they do it. Like, right. People, some people doing it for the music. I do it because I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a difference. Mm -hmm. Like the money and everything comes with it, but I do it because I have a passion for it. You know? I'm not just doing it because I know that's gonna make me a hundred thousand. But if it did, I'm gonna do yeah, it. I just be a plus. Right, <laughs> yeah, right, you feel right. me? But I'm just saying I do it because I got a passion for this. Mm -hmm. So, do you have like an ideal situation of like when you know for sure like you made it in this music shit? I'm out the hood. Like mm. once you get out the hood, it's just like it's just everything. Life would just be more easier. Mm -hmm. You ain't, ain't got to look over your shoulders. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You in a whole different environment. And when you so when you make it, would you move out the hood? Would you move all your family out the hood? Would you move your friends? Like who would you would you take anybody with you? I'm gonna take my mother first. I'm gonna situate my mother, mm -hmm. and then from there, like I'm not. Mm -hmm. As far as my, my peers and everything, like, you know, they got to come up with businesses and shit. I'm not just going to get them anything. No handouts. got to come up with a business. You, mm -hmm. might, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And so what do you have planned for this year? We already almost a quarter of the way through. What Talking else you got I want to do some, um, a few features. Mm-hmm. That, that I'm looking, I'm still deciding on who I'm going to work with. But other than that, I'm just keep dropping and just keep grinding. Is there anybody that you would like to work with that maybe you just want to put out there? I'm going to speak this shit to you. This is Let's Dirk. Let's do it. Dirk, I, That's okay. the only artist I want to work with. Really? Hmm. Need that feature. Anybody from New York? Nah, not really, man. Okay. Okay. So, to close it out, is there any advice that you would like to give to upcoming artists? Um... Who are just trying to make it, trying to do their thing? Um, just, uh, if you're watching and you pay paying attention to what's going on, when you get your chance, do not fumble the bag, bro. That's it. Fuck all this peer pressure. Fuck all that shit. Like, stay out the way. Make music. You got to go back in the house, get a girlfriend. You ain't got to be no gangster. Like, that shit not cool. Like, that's it. Keep grinding. All the artists just stay down. Don't change up. That's it. All right, and do you have anything else that you want to say? I want to get a shout out to y'all. Shout out to Talk of the Town, Chloe, and what's your name? Bree. Bree. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by, plugging <laughs> your social media and everything. Face mob, F A C underscore M O B. Follow me and tap in. Wolf Pain's out now. And shout out Mex. Shout out RPT. Shout out VR. Shout out, you know, free the guys. <laughs>